Hello friends, I hope you guys are doing well today. We are going to be doing some really fun activities and we're going to be reading some books. Now right now we are on unit two about friends. So we're going to be doing a reading, then we're going to do a bit of stretch, maybe a little bit of a dance break. We're going to be learning about grocery stores, then we're going to do some shopping lists. Then we're going to clean up and then we're going to say goodbye. For our book today, we're going to be reading about a hen who goes to a delicatessen to buy ingredients for a pizza. So she's going to go to the store to buy things for a pizza. But before we read, we should learn about some words that are in the book. So the first word is delicatessen. Now that's a store that spells special, that's, ooh, that sells special foods. So see here in the picture, this store sells different types of meat, maybe like hot dogs or sausages, or there could also be, this could also mean like a store, like maybe a, a bakery, cause that has special foods like, baked goods like muffins and bagels. I'm getting hungry now. Our second word is rummage. It's when you're trying to look for something by moving things around. Have you guys done that before? Have you moved things around? And you're just trying to find something? That's, that's what rummage is. You see these girls, they're going through boxes. They're rummaging. Our next word is grateful. Feeling or showing thanks to someone. So it's when you're feeling thankful. Need. This is another word, which means to mix by pushing and pulling. And you'll see this a lot when people are making bread. Bread is made out of this dough and they knead it, which means they're pushing and pulling the dough to get the shape of the dough to make the bread. And then we got our next word, which is dough. It's a soft, thick flour mixture used to make baked goods. So this is what makes like your bread or cinnamon rolls. You can make cinnamon rolls out of this. Um, and you make pizza out of it too. That's what your, your crust is. Your crust is dough that's baked. Generous. This is the next word, which means giving or sharing with others. So you see the girl here, she's sharing with the girl over here, so she's being generous. All right, let's get into our book. So the book is called The Little Red Hen Makes a Pizza. This is retold by Philemon Sturges, and the art and all the drawings we see is done by Amy Walrud. We see the hen here, and maybe these are her friends? I'm not really sure. What do, what do you guys think? I don't know. We'll have to see. We gotta read the book. All right. The little red hen had eaten the last slice of her tasty loaf of bread. She'd sipped a cup of chickweed tea and taken her nap. Now she was hungry again. So she scratched through her cupboard and spied a can of tomato sauce. Why don't I make a lovely little pizza? She said to herself. So you guys see you guys see what she has down here? What do you see? I see the tomato sauce. She's got a can of worms too. That's a little I don't know if I'd put that in my cupboards. But maybe she likes eating worms because she's a hen. She rummaged through her pan drawer. Remember this is our vocabulary word rummage, so she's looking through things. She's looking through her pan drawer. There were bread pans, cake pans, muffin pans, frying pans, all kinds of pans. But not one single pan was large and round and flat. Cluck, she said. I need a pizza pan. 
She stuck her head out the window. Good morning, she called. Does anybody have a pizza pan? So she's going to be looking for a pizza pan, which is super big and round, so it fits the shape of the pizza. Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Oh, no. It looks like nobody has a pizza pan. She might have to go get one, huh? I think so. Let's see. Very well, then. I'll fetch one myself, said the little red hen. So she went to the hardware store. She bought a pizza pan, a large mixing bowl, oh, a large mixing bowl, a pizza slicer, and some other stuff. So she's getting some materials to make her pizza. She went to the hardware store where you can get all types of tools. You can even get plants at a hardware store. It's pretty fun. But she got the pizza pan, the large mixing bowl, and a pizza slicer for her pizza. When she got home, she opened the cupboard. She saw beans and rice, sugar and spices, jars of jam and jars of honey. Mm, that sounds good. And even pickled eggplant, but no flour. Cluck, she said, I need flour. Oh no. She's got to go back to the store. She's got to go get the flour to go make the dough. Remember, the dough, dough is what we use to make the crust of the pizza. She stuck her head out the window. Hello, she said. I'll run to the store and get me some flour. Do you guys think that someone's going to run to the store and get her some flour? I, I don't know. Good guesses, but I, I'm not sure. Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. <sighs> none of them have, none of them are going to go get flour. They seem to be having fun outside, but they're not helping the red hen to make her pizza. Very well then, I'll fetch some myself, said the little red hen. So she went to the supermarket. She bought some flour, some salt, some oil, and some other stuff. What do we see in her basket? What do you guys see? I see a donut. I don't know. That's looking pretty tasty to me. She's got this delectable donut bag. That's looking pretty good. Let's see what happens next. When she got home, she opened the fridge. Cluck, she said. There's cream cheese, blue cheese, string cheese, and Swiss cheese, but there's no mozzarella. So, she stuck her head out the window. Excuse me, she said. Who will go to the store and buy me some mozzarella? What do you guys think? Do you guys think someone's going to go get her some mozzarella for her pizza? I'm not sure. I hope so. I hope somebody helps her. Let's see. Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. So nobody's going to go get the mozzarella. It looks like she's going to have to go back to the store again. So the little red hen went to the delicatessen. Remember, this is one of our vocabulary words, which means it's a special type of store for sp specific foods, like, like a meat store, basically. She bought some mozzarella, pepperoni, olives, some mushrooms, onions, and garlic, a can of small anchovies, and some other stuff, but no pickled eggplant. Hopefully she has everything she needs, right? I'm really, I'm getting hungry. I, I hope that the pizza is probably going to be really good, but I hope she has all the ingredients. When she got home, the little red hen put her on her apron and stuck her head out the window. Good afternoon, she said. Who will help me make some pizza dough? Remember, dough is one of our vocabulary words. That's, that's going to be the crust of the pizza. Do you think they're going to help her 
make the pizza. I don't think so. Don't think they're gonna help out. Let's see. They say, not I, said the duck. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Very well then, I'll make it myself, said the little red hen. So she put the flour and some other stuff into her mixing bowl and stirred and mixed and mixed and kneaded and kneaded and pounded and pounded till she had a big ball of pizza dough. After the dough rose, the little red hen rolled it flat, folded it, rolled it again, and spun it around her head several times. So remember, kneaded is one of our vocabulary words. Can you guys do this motion with me? It's, it's a bit similar when you have like dough with you and you're kneading it, which means like you're pulling it and pushing the dough. You're kind of like pushing on it and then pulling it back a little bit. So if you, can you guys do that with me? It's a little bit like this. It looks a little silly. Awesome. So that's what kneading is. You'll, you'll see like people will make dough and they will like, you know, twist and even sometimes with pizzas that like flip it around on top of their head. It's really cool. When the dough was just right, she tossed it way up into the air one last time for good luck and put it in her pizza pan. This was what I was talking about. So sometimes the people who make pizzas will throw it up in the air like that and they will spin it and do some cool tricks with the dough. Then she stuck her head out of the window. Excuse me, she said. Who will make, who will help me make the topping? Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. I guess they're still playing outside, but that little red hen is making her, her pizza, so I'm excited. Very well then, I'll make it myself, said the little red hen. What toppings do you think that she's gonna put on her pizza? Or what toppings do you like? I don't know, I like, I like pineapple on pizza. I think it's really good. Let's see what toppings she's going to put on her pizza. So she chopped and she grated and grated and sliced. Next she opened her can of tomato sauce and spread it all over the pizza dough. On top of that, she put some grated mozzarella, some sliced pepperoni, some chopped olives, some mushrooms, some onions and garlic eight small anchovies, and some other stuff, but no pickled eggplant. The little red hen looked at her pizza. It looked just right. She put it in the oven and sit, sat down to sip a cup of chickweed tea. She put a lot of ingredients on her pizza, huh? That was a lot, but it sounds delicious. Pretty soon, a delicious smell drifted from the oven. It filled the room and floated out the window. It seems like, what do we see? We see like, we see the cat and the duck and the dog. I bet you they can smell the pizza. It was lovely, but it was not little. My goodness, that looks huge. Can you guys try to make... A huge circle with your arms try to become like a big pizza stretch 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 er, big pizza that is a big big pizza but it looks really good so she stuck her head out the window good evening she said would anybody like some pizza oh that's super nice that she's offering her friends pizza do you think they're gonna do you think they're gonna eat the pizza? I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. Let's see. Can you guess what the duck said? Can you guess what the dog said? Can you guess what the cat said? Oh my goodness. Are they gonna say no? I would love to eat a pizza. I would say yes. Let's see what they say though. They all said yes, of course. But the cat scraped most of the topping off his chair. When the pizza was all gone, 
the little red hen made herself another cup of chickweed tea. Then she asked, who will help me do the dishes? Now, can you guess what the duck, the dog, and the cat each said? What do you think they said? Do you think they'll help with the dishes? Hmm. I don't know. They said no to a lot of things. Let's see. They each said, I will, I will, I will. So they're helping her clean the dishes. That's super nice. And they did. All right, that was the end of our story. So we're going to be going on to our next activity. Uh -huh.